I've had to check the date a couple of times, November 9th, and it has not felt anything like November to start the month. And probably for the next couple of days, we've got a tropical storm down to our south. It is getting ripped apart. Notice the main area of thunderstorms associated with Raphael are well removed from the center of the storm, that wind shear dry air. But we are tapping into some of that moisture that along with a frontal boundary has really helped us out with rainfall today. Unfortunate though, we've had the flooding concerns across southwest and central Louisiana that is ongoing. It will probably continue into the late night hours. No real signs of that move moving our way, maybe a little closer, but generally staying more over south central Louisiana as it generally breaks up through the overnight and into early tomorrow. Now this model not quite as aggressive with our rain chances during the day, but most model guidance is indicating 60, 70, 80%. I go with about a 60% chance through the day tomorrow, but definitely have the rain gear handy as we continue through the afternoon. And then by Monday, we will still have some scattered showers as the front does look like it is going to get a little bit of a push from the west. Nothing dramatic, but maybe a little less humid by Tuesday. And then as we head into the end of next week, a stronger front moving on through. So there's the heavy rainfall generally north of Lake Charles up through Alexandria. And for us, it's been more nuisance rain, especially if you're watching the LSU game in Baton Rouge. It was more of a nuisance than really a problematic rainfall. Scattered showers across the area looks like a bit of a break over the metro area now. And most of the rain has been from the city south. It looks like it's kind of wrapping up around Thibodeau, although still some light rainfall there, and we really haven't seen anything very heavy on the North Shore thus far. Now through the night, a high risk of additional flooding is present for areas out to our west. For us, low end threat for some isolated street flooding, and thankfully none of the showers that we saw today really were efficient rainmakers to have any issues with street flooding will be under kind of the same threat for tomorrow. Some isolated downpours are possible. As I mentioned with Raphael, the storms themselves are well removed from the center. It's really just going to sit through the day tomorrow two hours south. Eventually the uh, the surface winds will start pushing those remnants farther south and Monday through Wednesday. It'll already be a remnant low, so no longer a tropical system that may even occur as soon as early tomorrow as the remnants kind of get shoved down to the south, the east or southwestern Gulf or the Bay of Campeche. What is helping to draw some of the moisture associated with Raphael is this big upper low moving into the northern plains. This is drawing some of that moisture associated with it, but the storm itself is so shallow. It's kind of getting pushed down to the south from the surface winds. Now this upper pattern may help to bring in some slightly less humid air for Monday. I was showing that front that is just off to our west. This pattern should help to at least push the front through during the day on Monday. What we're waiting for is a deeper upper trough toward Wednesday, Thursday that will bring in some cooler and less humid air. Nothing dramatic, but it will make it feel a lot more comfortable. So first into Tuesday, we get that initial shot of some dry air, a little surge of moisture returns Wednesday, then a, mar, a far more pleasant feel as we end the week and start into next weekend. At the moment, low clouds, misty, kind of some patchy fog, just not pleasant with a dew point of 74 and a temperature of 78. Humidity right now is almost at 90% with temperatures in the 70s and dew points about the same. We're not going to be cooling down much through the night and still a little bit of a breeze outside, especially offshore. It is somewhat associated with Raphael, but also because of the nearby front. We're kind of getting squeezed in between those systems and with that stronger southeasterly flow, we could still see some coastal flooding. It usually is right around high tide and that tends to be during the early morning hours. Our seven day forecast except for our weather impact alert day tomorrow, mainly from just the nuisance rain and that low end threat of some street flooding. We're not going to see much additional rainfall, some scattered showers Monday and then again on Wednesday with that next front. Not exactly a fall feeling. In fact, high temperatures will still be running above normal normal high now is 72 73 it'll at least feel a whole lot nicer starting next thursday